So this is my usual thing where I compare the lengths and physical characteristics of a bunch of graphics cards. So our feature du jour today is the GTX 590 from NVIDIA. This is a dual GF110 card. It is, so it's SLI on a card. We've seen dual GPU cards quite a few times in the past now. Now, these are fully featured GF110s. These are exactly the same GPUs that you find on a GTX 580. So, one of these. So you might ask, well, how did NVIDIA manage to put two of those on one card? And the answer is that they are actually downclocked. Well, first of all, they're binned very carefully for the best possible graphics cards or the chips to put on it. And then second, they are actually downclocked. So they do have less performance than a single GTX 580, but they more than make up for it by having two of them. Okay, so this video card has an 80 millimeter fan in the middle. It has heat sinks on either side for each of the GPUs. It has three DVI outputs with one mini display port. So those three DVI outputs, this is another unique thing about this card, allow it to support 3D vision surround or just plain surround off a single card that is three displays over DVI. So that's pretty cool. It does support quad SLI because it has one SLI finger and it needs two PCIe 8 pin power connectors. So let's just contrast it against these other cards in terms of length. It is an 11 inch card, so I'll just show you guys that. There you go, it's an 11 inch card. So you compare that to the Radeon HD 6990, which is a one foot, that is a 12 inch card, and to the GTX 580, which is only a 10 and a half inch card, now the 69, whoops, I'm going to wreck my tablecloth here. The 6970 is almost 11 inches. And then if we go all the way down into kind of the mainstream cards, then we end up with a GTX 560 Ti, and that is a 9-inch card. So just for contrast, you can look at what it would take to fit a GTX 590 in your case versus a GTX 560 Ti sort of mainstream single GPU card. Now there are other considerations to bear in mind as well. This fan needs to have a fair amount of clearance around it because with two Fermis in there, there's a fair bit of heat being generated. So you need to make sure it has adequate ventilation. And yeah, that's pretty much where I was going with that. You got to make sure it has adequate ventilation. You also need to make sure your case has overall adequate airflow in it because half of the heat is going to be exhausted directly into your case out this side. And then a fairly substantial amount of it is going to come out into your case this way and then the rest will be exhausted. So this is going to kick a fair amount of heat into your case and uh, you got to make sure you have lots of fans to keep things cool. Thank you for checking out my video on the physical size and characteristics of the GTX 590 dual GPU graphics card from NVIDIA. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.